what we're seeing is different angles on some of the challenges there are in, in life and in homesteading and and really whether it's homesteading or just trying to get by to tomorrow and take care of yourself I mean we're all there Good evening. Hi, here we are again. Um, At night. <laughs> this isn't our first thing in the morning before the sun. Well, it's first thing for tomorrow morning, but we got to do another video. How about the tomorrow. last thing before I went to bed? Uh, you know, I was just I was just with a friend, and we were visiting another friend, and we'd been there for over an hour. And one of them looks over at me and goes, "Rinda, are you falling asleep?" <laughs> I said, it's late, I'm tired. <laughs> this this is the girl who's giving me trouble because I fall asleep in situations like that. At church. <laughs> but when it's quiet and peaceful and well, I'm tired, <laughs> what's what's the thing the body does? It just kind of relaxes, <laughs> goes to sleep. It's natural. And he's good at it. Hey, if, if you're going to be good at something, being able to go to sleep is a good thing to be good at. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. We were going to talk about a different subject, but that just flew and right in there. <laughs> that's a good start for it. We're, we're getting more and more folks who are following us and commenting and, and sharing their situations. Oh, thank you so much. I mean, it, it's fantastic and it's gratifying because what we're seeing is different angles on some of the challenges there are in, in life and in homesteading and and really whether it's homesteading or just trying to get by to tomorrow and take care of yourself I mean we're all there we're all there and and we all have different challenges one thing that we've seen in a lot of people is as people get older and and the challenges wear on them a lot of them they don't necessarily give up but it really looks like they give up they stop believing that things can get better that they can regenerate that they can overcome the challenges and they accept the circumstance they have and while we have to do that a little bit they don't have hope that they can make it better you know Jim that reminds me of um one of the stories in my book, Voices from My Heart, that you that is available on Amazon. <laughs> that plug, was an advertisement. Little, little plug there. Um, one of the stories in there was written on my 63rd birthday when I was at work. And it was literal... Wouldn't have been my 63rd birthday. It might have been my 60th birthday or 61st birthday wasn't last year a few years ago not too many sorry deviated there anyway I went to work and I didn't want to be you've got your sweatshirt on your hoodie it's cold <laughs> it's not that bad anyway I was having a pity party for my birthday that was my birthday party it was a pity party and this whole thing talks about how bad I felt because I didn't have any hope that I would ever not have to work, that I did not ever not have to go out of the home and continue doing what I was doing. And what evolves is the other people that stepped into my party that day without knowing it. And I was able to see how much gratitude I had that I was able to work, that I did have what I had. And yeah, you thought it was bad, and you had three people who all had worse situations than you I showed did. up. I did. I yeah, did. Okay, I remember and, that. And um, but we have met a lot of people lately who just don't have hope, whether it's because of health, or job, or the stress in their life, setbacks, cha challenges. Yeah. And it's and it's really really sad because. We've been there, but we haven't been there for a long time. And we have hope. We do. We do. H hope is so important. You have to have ho hope and you have to have faith that you can move forward. And so... Well, j j just like we're convinced that your body can regenerate, uh, your soil can regenerate, your landscape can regenerate, 
you can regenerate in every possible way. You can. Now, will you get back to that pristine 18-year-old body? Probably not. Probably not. Well, but can you make vast improvements? Depending on where you are, yes. Is it immediate? Me... No. It's going to take some time and effort, but you can make the improvements. I believe that. I believe that. Okay. So let me just give an, a, an example, a personal example for me this week. I have been stressed this week because of several things. And when I woke up, I'll demonstrate on Jim, there, you know, along here, how you can have a really tight neck. It's like a super hot spot right there. And it was sending just pain down my arm and, and just really Left tight. arm. So she's <laughs> thinking, oh, what's, No, it what's... wasn't my heart. That's what she but, was thinking. You were thinking that. Well, just for You knew it couldn't be. Minutes. Yeah. But what I want to get at is here, I've had so many patients that have said, oh, my arm is hurting or my neck is hurting. I'm just going to go lay down or I can't move my arm today. I'm just going to hold it. Where in what you have to do is fight through it. So I was doing the arm movements and doing everything that I could possibly do to loosen it up and say, I can do it. Don't buy into what your body's saying, but go past it. And, and that, that's really an important thing because so many people say, oh, I'm hurting, I'm not gonna do anything. And you have to exercise through it. That's just one part of taking hope and, and allowing it to push you forward. You know, I, I had an experience a couple days ago, um, actually yesterday it was, where there was someone who had been asked to do something challenging. And, af and was concerned about the ability to do it, wasn't sure that follow through could happen. It was just maybe a desire type of thing. It was, it was confusing and hard to know, but wasn't sure that it could happen. And took some time to think about it and think it through. And after doing that, came back with a response and I love that it's it's little train that could response I think I can I think I can was the response and that really warmed my heart to hear that because that's really the approach it, it's back to that little train that could story that chug chug up the hill I think I can I think I can and that's what gets us over the hill right we've got to have that it's in here it's that attitude it's that choice that ah, it's hard but I'm I'm gonna push through it so every part of this that we're talking about has to do with our health emotional health our physical health the food that we eat believing our financial health our financial health believing that we can make a difference we would like to send a compliment out and to one of our subscribers and it's 50 shades of green if you have not subscribed to 50 shades of green go and do it cheer him on he's just amazingly working and he is great the, recipe showing how to cook he, some fantastic he, things he is um the poster child of hope and uh we're just rooting for you simon and we really um are excited that that you're sharing your you're journey sharing. with us. This is fantastic. You're sharing. We appreciate you it. You said that we meant a lot to you, and you mean so much to us. So, uh, well, you're you're really one of the the reasons why we're wanting to do this. You truly are. To to see someone hear what we have to say. I mean, who are we? But to to find value in what we're saying and to apply it and and to get some benefit out of it. That's why we're doing it. So have hope. Don't think that if you've had a heart attack that you can't recover from that. I do remember who it was who said this to us this week. There was someone in our home this week and they said, I just can't believe that you're this age. You can't be that old because we're so vibrant but we are that old and it doesn't matter age doesn't matter your health matters and how you take care of it matters yeah age, age is a number acting old is an attitude and i don't have the acting old attitude 
I was writing in my blog, which isn't published yet, so you can't read it in there yet, but I was writing in it that too many people believe that you have to get old with age and that with age comes illness and that's just part of life and it does not have to be so. We know that at some point we may not always stay like this, but we're working very hard to do Accidents everything. Accidents can happen that can debilitate, debilitate you. Debilitate? I like that word. Debilitate you <laughs> and make it very difficult. There are many stories out there about people who've had those types of things happen and they did not let it stop them. They found a way to do as much as they possibly could. Um, so. And it's always better to go through life with someone else. Yes. So. Yeah, it helps. Find someone to go through life with. Thanks for watching. Talk to you tomorrow.